Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. Today's mission is Killing Time, the Stone Market Clock Tower, staffed by the Hammerites. We're gonna sabotage it. Let's get started. <clears throat> so I left off right at the entrance to the mission. The Keepers are waiting for time to stop on its own. But I think their prophecy needs a little push. The Stone Market Clock Tower is so tall, you can see it all the way from Aldale. If there's a way to stop time, then this is it. I made it inside the tower, now I just have to figure out how to sabotage it. It's centuries old, and they say its gears have killed more men than the city's guillotine. It'll be full of hammerites too. Some of them spend their whole lives here maintaining it. They're not going to let me throw a wrench in their clockworks. Not without a fight. I'll be making my way down from the top. With a little luck along the way, I can figure out how to turn the thing off. Let's just hope my way of dealing with the prophecies is more productive than the Keepers, or this could be a big waste of time. All right. Let's set it on expert. Check out our objectives. Locate a mechanical plan of the clockworks, reach the basement of the clock tower where the furnace is. When all your other objectives are complete, sabotage the clockworks in the furnace room to stop the clock. Starting gear, blackjack, dagger, same suite of upgrades, eye, door glyph, lock picks, climbing gloves, broadhead and moss arrow upgrades. 25 water, 30 broadhead, 5 noisemaker, 20 moss, 5 gas, and 15 fire arrows, 24,650 gold, 5 holy water, 4 oil flasks, 10 health potions, 20 flash bombs, 4 gas bombs, 2 explosive mines. No loot. Quest items, the velvet bag, the pagan sapling, the climbing gloves, the compendium of reproach, and the glyph key, for some reason it says we still have those and all the keys and we do have a basic map of the clock tower we're going to start up at the top and work our way down as you can see the map is not very detailed to say the least but no problem we just have to get to the basement let's get going so here you can see where inside that vent pipe it's I think it's a neat little inversion on the usual mission design to have a start at the top and work our way down instead of vice versa anyway there's nothing in this first room so go ahead and get to the ladder and take the first step down Go ahead and do a save here. As you round this corner, there's a chance, albeit a fairly small one, that you can inadvertently get nailed by the These patrolling. machines could crush me flat. Better keep on my toes. So this chest to the right, it's pretty simple, right, left, up, down. Inside is a silver statuette worth 50. Brings me to 2%, along with a single broadhead arrow. So we'll get that. And then for this room, you want to just use your climbing gloves, attach to the wall. Now, as far as I know, this is the first mission where you actually have to have the climbing gloves in order to complete it at least on expert. I think you can find other ways to do the Overlook Mansion and the Sunken Citadel, but for this, at least if you're on expert, you need to get all three special loot items, and one of those absolutely requires that you have the climbing gloves. So, as you can see, I made my way over to the northeast corner, and then finally climbed down. There's some good shadows here to wait in. I'm going to read this note right quick. 
In the coming days, the Builder's Wrath shall smite to the pagan heretics. Some will go to Fort Ironwood in Old Quarter, some will remain here, that the clock lose no second of marked time. Tis a worthy thing to strike for the Builder, but tis also a great and worthy thing to shoulder the burden of two when thou do his work. As soon as you can get by this patroller, go ahead and do it. When you get to the northwest corner of this big, first big open room, you have to climb up the wall and grab the diamond gear. It's worth 400, brings my total all the way up to 18%, and it's the first piece of special loot in the mission. Huh? Oh, dang. I forgot to turn. The trick to getting down there is to have Garrett grab onto the wall and then climb down. There we go. Once we make it down, that holy water is all I came for. Once we have it. Glory to the righteous and death to the impious. To all things doth their reward come. And woe betide he whose just reward pleaseth him not. Strength be to thine arm. So once you get the holy water, we're done up here, and we're ready to move on, which requires us to get back to the northeast, so that's where I'm headed. You can get nailed by a hammerite on the ground level down here, so... Just be careful. When you get to this little office, I find it easier not to take the doors, just to wait right here and then creep in behind the guy. So when he gets to the end, open the chest, get the purse and the healing potion. The purse is worth 50, brings us up to 20%. Now I'm going to wait for him to patrol down here and leave again. On the desk, you'll see a silver goblet worth 75, brings me to 23%. A gold candle, sorry, it's a gold goblet. A gold candlestick worth another 75 brings me total to 26%. And next to the book. I don't know about stopping time, but this should let me stop the clockworks. What hath set the beast so nervous? Okay, I have to not chase the rat out there. stopping time, but this should let me stop the clockworks. Tis gone. Aren't there thieves among us? <clears throat> so he didn't alert to the rat that time, but he has noticed something missing from the desk. I don't know which piece it is. Anyway, that completes the objective to locate a mechanical plan of the clockworks, and it gives us an objective reach the basement of the clock tower where the furnace is. 
Oh, we might have already had that one, but it gives us a couple of notes, too. To sabotage the, the clockworks, pull both the coal dispenser and steam release levers. Lastly, activate the halting mechanism. The mechanical plan of the clockworks can be found on your map page. Okay, so let's look at our map, then. Here, this is the basement level of the clockworks only. So you see here in the southwest corner is the elevator back up to the ground floor. In the center, we have the main gear shaft. Next to that is the halting mechanism. On the upper level, the furnace is there in the northeast corner of the absolute ground level. The upper level in the basement, in the northeast corner, is the foreman's office. Just to the south of that is the coal dispenser. And in the southeast corner is the steam release. Finally... Surely I did not imagine it. Under, let's read this journal. Journal of Father de Bol. Any smith canst divide an ingot into twenty and four pieces of equal weight. Any forger canst split a rod into sixty shavings, set them to a bolt. Tis good work, but common. Only these brethren in mine keeping canst split a day into twenty and four pieces, canst split an hour into sixty shavings of equal time. He hath set his will not gainst our success, but gainst our sloth. So must we be shaped ever stronger in his forge, but tis at times over much for me, and I seek the remedy I hath purchased for myself at great cost. The alchemy of time hath made of the grape a solace for the builder's trials, none but mine own lips shall taste of it. To name myself his tool as greater than the work, twas Charis's folly and sin, and I shalt not follow that path. "'Twas also the folly of Greedus, and twas punished for it. "'For no sooner hadst he issued invitation to all to witness as he drank from the chalice "'than wast it stolen away. "'Under the desk... "'I have let myself jump at naught. "'Is Father Dibble's solace. "'It's a wine bottle worth 150. "'Brings my total to 32%. "'And it is the second piece of special loot.' Now I'm going to wait for the hammer to turn around again. And just go through that window, which is possible to do silently. In this room, grab the moss arrow, and then... Wait till you hear the footsteps get pretty far away before you open this door into the barracks. Good. Inside the barracks. First, there's a bit of reading material. Brethren, thy time is not thine own. It needs must be devoted to the great work of, thou or of our order. When thou takest thy repast, to have care that thou dost not congregate with thy fellows, lest thou lure thyself and thy fellows into delay. Proper time for prayer may be taken at dawn, at noon, at eventide, and at night. So there are quite a few goodies to get in here. First thing you want to do is get between the beds. And on top of the northern bed, you can find a pile of copper coins worth 25. They bring my total to 33%. The patroller has a purse. What vision best come? Thought I had a little bit more time than I actually did. His purse is worth 50, and it'll bring my total to 35% once I manage to grab it. He will, of course, green alert when it's taken. <sighs> There's little to be done about that. And there's an explosive mine on that little end table. Who has stolen from me? Now, when he's at the right end of his patrol. What noise be that? Well, it doesn't really matter which end he's on. He will, at either end of his patrol, green alert when that chest is opened and shut. So, there's another pile of copper coins inside Tease that chest. The builder's piece now. Which brought my total to 36%. I'm going to wait for him to get to the right again. To the north, I guess I should say.
because while that chest necessitates a green alert, we can avoid it if we open this one when he's at the far north end of his patrol. This chest has a holy water and another purse inside it, worth 50, brings my total to 38%. Now, when he's facing south, I want to slip out behind him, and I'm going to go ahead and try to grab the silver goblet off the shelf on my way north. It's worth 50, brings my total to 40%. And he'll yellow alert to the fact that it's gone. She's missing. Cry alarm. Brother, tis a poor thing to hide so. I hath worked myself up for naught. Tis the trickster's work. There's nothing in this one at the foot of the bunk bed. So I need to wait for him to head south again. I'm going to tackle the chest in the corner first, because it's just a little bit harder to do, if you ask me. I can probably do it all, actually. Silver spoon, silver fork, 50 each, 42 and 44%. Oil flask and a copper comb in the chest, another 50. Brings my total to 46%. <clears throat> now, I don't doubt that he's... Well, he may not, actually. I thought he was about to yellow alert to the uh, stuff being missing. Who has taken it? Yes, there it is. Thou art here somewhere. Oh, this is a this is a red alert, but it's still just over missing loot, so I'm not gonna treat it as a bust since it is just missing loot. Give thou up this foolish hiding! Forgive me, O oh Builder, for I hath failed to find anything. Last thing we need to do, when he heads south again... Need to get into this chest. Same as the others, right, left, up, down. Inside the chest, you can get another purse, worth 50, brings my total to 48%, and I swear there are a couple of broadheads in there too. I might have already grabbed them, or maybe they've clipped out. Well, there are supposed to be two broadhead arrows in the chest, but I can't seem to track them down. We already have the maximum number of broadheads anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. When he heads south one last time, I'm going to close the chest and then slip out that window behind him. We're finally done in here. Beautiful. Creep out nice and quiet. I like to jump across to the wall and climb down. Keeps it nice and silent. Now this is different than my practice run. I had that hammerite stationary at the bottom of the stairs in my practice run. This might actually be easier. We can just follow him down when he goes. Yep, nice and easy. 
But here's something to read. I'll do that right quick. Iron three gauge gear, central pendulum control, stripped, hath replaced. Iron piston, second counterweight, bent, hath replaced. Single high chime, untuned, hath retuned. Iron three gauge gear, central pendulum control, stripped. Iron unsuitable for pendulum control, replaced with diamond gear. Alto chime reported by striker is too soft, hath cleaned and increased hammer speed. Emergency steam valve, corroded, hath replaced. Base chime, untuned, hath retuned. Diamond, eh? That could be worth looking for. So, when both hammer's backs are turned, we need to get into the corner he's looking at right now. There's a chest back there with some loot that we want. I think now is a good time. Let's try it. Excellent. The chest isn't locked. Inside is an explosive mine and two copper candlesticks. Perhaps my ears do trick me. What? Uh, it is not then. Hey! Oh. smallest nail, the tiniest gear, if they be worked well. The hand of the builder is in the tallest tower, the grandest bridge, if they be worked well. Well, yes, it looks as though he has now stopped moving. So he's going to green alert when I open and close the chest. And there's not anything I can do about it if he stopped right there. So, explosive mine, two copper candlesticks. Do I miss here? 25 each, 50% and 51% are the totals. Hmm, I know not what I heard, but tis gone. So then we want to slip into this hallway behind him. Grab the moss arrow here in the far east. And then we'll pick the lock on this door. Should still be right, left, up, down. Shut it behind us. Inside this room in the northeast corner, there's another unlocked chest. Inside you can find a copper urn worth 100, 55%, and a silver coin worth 50, total 57%. Uh, I can go ahead and pick the lock on this one, because that's silent in Thief 3, so right, left, up, down. I need to wait until those footsteps sound like they're at the southern end point, and then open and shut. Now we need to get into this crawl space across the room from us. Shouldn't be hard close it behind us. The only thing to do in here is pick up this gold bracelet worth 125, brings my total to 62%, and then wait for the Hammerite to patrol away one more time. When he's gone, I actually prefer to take the ladder, so get on to the central gear works right here. And then hopefully Garrett doesn't do anything stupid like that twice in a row. Still escaped. Those who adorn themselves with God and finery do Still escaped unharmed, thank goodness. And so then we can open this grate and crawl out. It's a long way, but down is always easier than up. So we're at the big vertical room 
On the southeast and west sides, I'll peek down at one just to show him to you. There are hammer priests on those pl on platforms like the one you can see there. I'm not going to disable or mess with all of them. Disarm, rather. I'm going to skip those pickpockets because they're frankly just impossible to get to. Or not impossible, but too difficult. So, the first thing we need to do is stay up top here and get onto this western catwalk at the very top level. What we then need to do, and it, it's possible, it's just you kind of have to line it up exactly right, is jump over this metal curvature and get onto the wooden catwalk past it, so. It is my own part. Wasn't able to jump far enough that time, but you should already get the idea. Try again. Fortunately, there's no one close enough to hear us unless we have a full on metal landing. So, once you make it to this catwalk, that's worth a save. And. What is that? Oh, goodness. The next step, and believe it or not, you can do it silently, is to drop to the railing of the Southern Priest's platform. So, let's uh, do a little better staying in shadow to avoid that green alert. Let's try it. Once you make it to the railing, you can easily creep down in silence. I guess I can go ahead and pickpocket him since I'm here. Probably have to use Someone has taken my wand. Tis unacceptable. I will probably have to use the glitch. Drop the wand, but that's fine. The next step is to mantle onto the railing on the east side of his platform. Oops. And then, not quite that. We need to mantle onto the railing, and then we need to m jump. We need to get, manage to get past that little uh, stone outcropping and get on the wall past it, if you can see what I'm talking about. Ah! Not that. <laughs> Not that either. This is highly irritating, I'm sorry. Believe it or not, <clears throat> this is yet another thing that I did on my first try in the practice run. <laughs> there we go. That's what you want. Once you're on the wall, climb down. We went to all that trouble to get this pile of gold coins, worth 75 brings my total to 65%. So, now you want to drop without a... Uh, alerting anyone, including this patroller. I'll go ahead and grab his wand. What? Who hath dared to steal from me? So we've got three arrows to get. There's a water arrow on the southwest corner of the central 
shaft. I'm gonna go ahead and save just because getting those coins is a major pain in the butt and I'm pretty happy to, al to already have that done. And then the northern torch has a fire arrow in it. Lastly, we need to work our way back up most of the way, actually, in order to get a moss arrow that's up about two-thirds of the way up. And the builder said, smite thine enemies without mercy, for mercy is but weakness in disguise. Thank goodness. All I wanted was a mantle, but it was not to be. Let me try a different tactic. Oh. Well, that time he mantled. Good, that's what I wanted. Mantled again, good. So when you get here in the northwest corner, you can just crawl up the wall and I could have sworn it was right around here. Damn, hold on. I would have sworn that the moss there was a moss arrow right where that water was dripping. Maybe I'll have to get all the way to the top just to check it out. I wouldn't like that much. Won't lie to you. There it is. Good. And the builder said, Smite thine enemies without mercy, for mercy is but weakness in disguise. Hey! I'm just toying with the idea of going after the other two pickpockets because it doesn't actually seem like it would be that bad. Who dares disturb my meditations? Yeah, we could get to this guy pretty easy. All we need to do is... We just need to manage to get onto that catwalk, which admittedly might be tough to do silently, but... But it just doesn't seem like it'll be that hard. I feel like I should be able to do it. That's gonna work, I just moved a little too far, but if you shift, if you climb all the way up and then shift just a little bit to the left, Garrett can silently drop onto a little strip of wood that runs sideways along that very catwalk. So, let's try again. Climb up until you're above everything. And there we go, we've dropped onto the wood. So from here, 
we can get to the western platform. Nail this guy. Who hath dared to steal from me? Yeah, and we'll just use the glitch to drop it. I'm sorry, I forgot to hit record on the load screen. I'll, I'll do it again. Was taking advantage of the load screen to answer a text message, and I forgot to hit the record button. My bad. There we go. Well, now there's only one other one. <laughs> hey, what? Uh -huh. It's folly to interrupt. Maybe getting these things isn't going to be as bad as I thought. Because I have to, I have to manage to descend, of course. But then it's already down to one. But I do have to manage to descend without making any noise. <laughs> By the... Hello? This better be important. Dang. Admittedly, this is the part I hadn't considered. This is the only one where it'll be a problem because this guy's closest to the ground. I mean, you noticed that the... Southern guy who's... Mid-level... <clears throat> Mid-level in terms of height couldn't hear me because he was so far down maybe the answer is just to try and get farther away hey thou had better have some very good excuse for this